Hello everyone, in this video we're going to show you how to manually close the roof on a Bentley GT's Cabriolet. Notice how we're starting off and the windows are all down. So we're going to start off by opening the rear deck lid. To do this, we have to get in the back of the car. So just take your seat forward and get in the back of the car. Now if we come around here, we have to start by opening this compartment and get the manual release key out. Start off by showing you how to operate this key. So notice how this key is currently closed. If you turn the red part anti-clockwise, you see the key opens, and when you engage the key, you have to lock it again. So we'll start off by having the key in the unlocked position. Now if we come around here, we're going to insert the key in a hole at the back here. Bring that in, give that a wiggle, and once, as you turn it clockwise, you'll see the black part will engage. Once it's engaged, you turn the red part clockwise until it's closed and locked. Now, we're going to turn this anti-clockwise, and if we notice, the rear lid will open. So, that's the rear lid closed, that's the rear lid open. We can now proceed to open the rear lid by lifting it up. This is meant to be a two-man operation, but if you pull it parallel, you should be fine. Once you bring the rear lid here, if you come closer here, you've got to lock these link arms at the back. Now we need to open these flaps. So if you come around here and look from this angle, you will see there's a little tang here. You pull this back and it pulls the link arm off. This connects to this ball socket here. Clip this back into position and I'll do the same on the other side. Remove the manual key as you'll need this later. So to remove the key you turn it anti-clockwise and unlock it because we're going to need this key now over here when we close the roof at the front of the windscreen frame. So if you come closer and look here, we're going to need this later. We're going to insert the key in here, like this, lock it, and when we turn the key, it'll operate the forks over here. So for now, we're going to leave it where it was and keep the key aside. It's normally a cap that goes here, but I've currently removed it goes there. So I've removed that for now just so it's easier later on. So again this is recommended to be two people but you can do it by yourself. Start by taking your shoes off. I'm sure you don't want to be standing on your Bentley rear seats with your shoes on. Hold the roof parallel and pull it out nice and slowly. Once you bring the roof to a position where you can lift the rear glass, you can close the rear deck lid. You now have to unlock these link arms here. So we'll start off by doing the passenger side. Okay. And so you get the clearance first. And now you do the driver's side. And bring that down nice and carefully, all the way down and we lock this rear deck lid down. So, take your manual key again, go here, insert that between the rear seats, so if you come around again, come round, insert that in there, keep turning it until you feel it engage, use the red part, lock it, and then turn it clockwise facing that way until it locks. So now you've locked the rear deck lid, remove the key, and now we will lock the front windscreen frame. Bring that down nice and gently. Okay, let's move the seat back. Let's insert the manual key in here now. Come closer again. 
So you take your manual key, you put it in. Now, if you turn it, you unlock the forks over here. So if you look, you'll see the forks are open. You pull the roof down, nice and slowly. Yeah, and once it's down, you just turn the manual key anti-clockwise. To open, remove the key, you turn the red part out and remove the key. We hope you found our video useful. Please hit like, share, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you very much for watching.